who could have guessed that the man who's responsible for starting the X-Men would be eventually smothered in controversy in Hollywood? But hey, here we are again. We are talking about Brian Singer. And believe it or not, not the first time, one of many times where we've heard actors associated with the franchise completely destroy the director for his lack of care for the characters, actors, or just about anything else. Brian Singer and Sam Raimi are usually credited as sort of the fathers of the modern day Marvel success when it comes to comic book films, and certainly there is an argument to be made there, because people forget that Blade exists, but that's alright. But that's neither here nor there, because most people tend to forget that Blade was an actual Marvel film. Either way though, the X-Men films found themselves very successful in the early days, and even going back as far as X-Men 1 and X-Men 2, there was already talks in the industry and certainly on the internet in relation to Brian Singer and um, some of his antics, let's put it that way. You know, we heard about how he said you can't have color on X-Men suits and also comics are forbidden on the set of the film because we're not making comic book movies. Yeah, okay. But yeah, Jennifer Lawrence did have some, I guess you could say, shades to throw at Brian Singer with um, how he would throw hissy fits on set how he got very emotional and demanded it's either his way or don't bother doing it or showing up. And she compared some of her time working with other directors who were, let's just say it how she says it, supposed to be emotional because they're women and that's the perception. And she's like, yeah, but Brian Singer was more emotionally driven and threw bigger tantrums than them. And she's not the first person related to the X-Men films to say something like this. It's been said many a time by plenty of people and certainly tons of reports that came out in relation to these films. And I've also seen some people say why is she disrespecting him because he cast her and put her on the roadmap with Mystique. That was Matthew Vaughn so case closed. But yeah look um she had a bad time bad experience working with Brian Singer as have uh many people that have come forward talking about this same exact thing because the guy was problematic in front and behind the camera doing no matter what you know you see some of the clips where he jumps on set to try to tell the actors what to do and they're just staring at him going is, is this guy serious like is this actually happening and sure enough it was actually happening so it's not really surprising that she didn't have a good work experience with him and that he was also doing his thing but at the same time I think this spells a bigger sort of a picture of why he hasn't worked for a while and why he's never going to be back in the Marvel fold. Um, it's just not how they roll and things have only gotten worse for him ever since, you know, uh, what was the last X-Men movie he did? No, it wasn't, it wasn't Phoenix, because that was Kimberg. I don't know, but nobody misses him, that's the point. 